A news crew in New Orleans captured the moments when a driver was in a submerged truck about to go under floodwaters when a good Samaritan came to his rescue. You're about to see and hear reporter Jonah Gilmore uh, previously report live last night from the Canal Street underpass. But that person is still stuck in that vehicle right now. We have the police officer that's over here trying to do anything to help. But again, this officer has to remain safe. He's running right now, trying to get help. We're starting to see more uh, first responder vehicles in the distance. But again, that water is just coming up so quickly here at the canal underpass. Again, one person stuck inside that vehicle. You can see it right here. But you wonder how this person got into this vehicle when this area was blocked off. I can tell you, we watched that SUV. Go, or the pickup truck going to the canal underpass from the opposite direction going against traffic when this area was blocked off. I know this is what we stress about when you have these situations, avoid these underpasses, listen to the rules, stay inside, stay off the roads. But here we are with a rescue, a possible rescue situation happening right now live on television. Again, that water just coming up so quickly. We have an officer who was here trying to help, but again, the officer has to stay safe. We have a good Samaritan right here, uh, has something in his hand, hopefully trying to break that window. But again, we don't want these people to go into this water and also put themselves in danger. But a good Samaritan right here just trying to do whatever he can off his shoes and socks with something in his hand about to go into that water right now. Yes, uh, yes, question. Actually, the canal underpass, we're talking about feet. Oh, you can see right now that guy breaking that window, but this is feet of water right here. We're talking about a pickup truck, a big pickup truck that submerged at the canal underpass here. This is not no small vehicle. We can see that person look like they're climbing out of the back seat right now. That guy just broke that window. We're seeing some kind of movement happening. Um, that person, yeah, I can actually see that person right now climbing over the seat coming out of that vehicle right now. That person, yeah, actually coming out of the window. There it is. That Good Samaritan right there broke that window, uh, pulling that guy right now. Uh, more officers look like firefighters are also coming in right now. Uh, it, it's a man that was inside that vehicle. Looks like he's a bit stuck right now, trying to get out. <laughs> His, his, his torso is out right now. You can see most of that man's body is out right now. That good Samaritan, oh my goodness, he just fell in the water. Um, that good Samaritan helping. Yes, that's a life saving measure right here. That guy holding on to the pole. This is a life saving uh, good Samaritan right here. We also now have more uh, first responders. You can see that guy coming out right there. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Miles. Your name is Miles? Miles, what made you just jump into action to help save this guy's life? We're talking about this vehicle was submerged. I just had to go in there and do it. I'm a nurse, so I gotta save lives, right? And people don't know, but you actually came to me to ask me what was going on and went back to grab something to bust a window. So you were really adamant about saving his life. Of course, of course, you got to, right? I mean, and we have the guy right here, but thank you. And what's your last name? I'm sorry, Miles. Crawford. Crawford. Thank you so much, Miles. You did a good deed. Thank you so much for saving that man's life. And you can see that man right here going around our vehicle right now with New Orleans Police Department and NOFD. I mean, so you heard that man say he's a nurse, right? Well, that good Samaritan turned hero says his background involves being an emergency room nurse. He was actually watching that situation play out live on TV. He lives close. He decided to grab a hammer and get back to the scene to save that man. We'll be right back. 